Hello, welcome to Music Theory Pre-Grade 1. Uh, this is week 6, brought to you by To Enable. This week we'll be looking at key signatures, semitones and whole tones, accidentals, and how to write key signatures. All that will be covered in week 6. Let's begin. Semitones. A semitone is a half-step movement from one key to the next. It's a half-step movement from one key to the next. For example, on a keyboard, moving from D to E is a whole tone movement. Whole tone movement, D to E. We'll take a look at that just now. Simply because of the black key in between the D and E. This is where our D is. This is D and this is E. Then here we have a D sharp, which is our black key in between the two keys. This makes our movement a whole tone movement because there is a black key that we are jumping so it's a whole step movement a semitone would be moving from e to f because there is no key that we jumping in the middle so it's a half a step movement half a step movement which is a semitone this is a whole step movement because we've jumped one key this is a half step movement because we didn't jump any stairs moving along two semitones make one whole tone so two two semitones they make one they make a whole tone accidentals accidentals are symbols used to raise or lower notes symbols used to raise or lower notes they are placed in front of the note placed in front of the note and they last until the end last until the end till the end of a bar so accidentals are symbols used to raise or lower notes and they are placed in front or the end or the end and in, in front and they last until the end of a bar you can cancel a sharp or a flat by using the natural sign so we use natural sign to cancel our sharps and flats let's take a look at the example for a sharp this is how a sharp looks like this is the sign of a sharp and it raises a note by a semitone raises a note by a semitone this is an example of a flat it lowers a note by a semitone this is a natural sign cancels a sharp or a flat how to write accidentals accidentals are placed before notes they are placed before notes placed before notes placed before notes flats the head of a flat sign is equal to one full space so a head of a flat is equal to one full space just quickly highlight that one full space from top to bottom and its stem stretches up to a fifth above or below even inside the staff here is the measurement for the flat sign as you can see is equal to one full space from top to bottom there's the space from top to bottom it occupies one full space and the stem stretches up to a fifth if you can count here one two three four five this all these are incorrect inversions the stems are too short you can look at the stems they are way too short and they're not head they're also small they don't they're not equal to a full length of uh, a space sharps a sharp has two parallel ve ve vertical lines two parallel two parallel vertical lines space one half apart one half space apart 
and two parallel lines cutting across we have two more parallel lines cutting across the vertical ones and these two parallel lines that cut across are a bit oblique they are not so vertical bit oblique the vertical line stretch from one from a fourth above to a fourth below the stretch from a fourth above to a fourth below the staff degree the cross line stretch only one half space the stretch only one half space beyond each side of the vertical line you can see our measurement for the for the parallel vertical lines have one half space one half space as you can see here one half space also is demonstrated here the length of the stem okay this is the cutting lines as you can see is indicated here the one full space as you can see here the size the full size of the whole sharp sign this is the measurement of the whole sharp sign all this year they are incorrect measurements correct natural a natural sign can be viewed as two l shapes two l shapes joined together it stretches from the fourth line above to the fourth line below from the fourth line above to the fourth line fourth line below the vertical lines are one half space apart one half space space apart here is the first L, joining it with the second one, joining it with the second one, and it forms our natural sign. It's, it's nicely joined, forming our natural sign. As you can see, the complete natural sign, the L shapes and stretches from the fourth line above to the fourth line below fourth space fourth space below all these are incorrect versions of how to draw the natural sign hope you understand